field overrides can be used when you want specific fields displayed for a specific candidate type depending on the country or region of the job requisition. You can use overrides to change the field definition attributes for those fields. The attributes that can be altered are public and required. It's very important to note that overrides can only be used to change the value from false to true. It can't be used the other way around from true to false. Overrides are conditional and are used to alter the public or required attribute, depending on the applicant type. When we mention applicant type, we are referring to internal candidates, external candidates, or both. The other condition is the country of the job requisition. So this refers to the standard field country coming from the job requisition. This can be difficult for support engineers to understand and often they are confused thinking it is the country of the candidate or the application. It's very important to note that when we talk about overrides, we are always referring to the country of the job requisition. Here we have uh, an example of the XML definition. So the field attribute override, override this defines the, the entire override block. It contains the override conditions and the list of fields which are impacted by the override. The override element specifies under which condition the attribute change will take effect and what needs to be changed in the attribute. So let's take a look at this example on the right hand side we can see the beginning of the field attribute. We can see the country is US. So this can be quite simply read as on a US requisition. This means that the standard field country on the requisition is set to US for United States. Next, we see the field attributes. Here you can see the attributes that we're talking about is public and the value is true. This means that in the field definition, these fields are defined as public equals false, but we're using this override to change that value to public equals true, where the job rec country is equal to US. In this case, we also have applicant is equal to both, meaning that this effect will happen for both internal and external applications. Underneath, we see the list of field IDs. So these are the fields where that are defined as public is equal to false, but using this override, based on the country of the requisition, we want to change these values to public equals true. So on the left hand side, we see what I, I consider a translation of how to read the override on a US requisition for both internal and external applicants. Change the public attribute to true for the below fields. And this is the way I would recommend reading all overrides. It's very important to begin that phrase with on a, and then you mentioned the job requisition country. So on a US requisition. So in this example, if the country is set to US, we wanna change these fields uh, to be public equals true. But for example, if the requisition country was Germany, it means that these fields will be public equals false. The override would not take effect because the criteria has not been met and these fields would remain public equals false. An easy example to remember of why we might use an override may be something like social security number. This field SSN may only be relevant to US countries. So we can define the field as public equals false and then depending on the, on the job rec country, if that is equal to United States, we can decide to change the attribute to make this public equals true. What's really important to remember about overrides as well is that yes, we are talking about the public attribute and making this equal to true, but we still also need to have read and write permissions for the candidates in order to be able to see these fields. And that is quite a common mistake that we see customers making. So in the override XML definition, we may have already covered some of this, um, but the country element defines 
uh, which country or which criteria needs to be met in order for this override to take place. This is set to the two digit country value. So we see that example US. This is the ISO country value. If you're not sure of what the country value is, for example, CN is China and IE is Ireland, you can Google what is the two uh, car code, two character code for the country. Um, you cannot use an asterisk symbol to set up an override. And again, we have the same reminder here that the country element is referring to the country of the job requisition and not the candidate or application. Field attribute. The field attribute declares the change that will take place. So the value here identifies how the attribute in the field definition will be changed. So for example, if it's public false, we want to be specifying that this is going to be changed to public true. The applicant attribute declares another condition. This is the applicant type. So this is internal, external, or both. Here we see another example of an override. Again, we're seeing country here. So this is the country of the job rec is equal to US. Let's change the public value to true for internal and external candidates for the below field. But we need to specify here at the bottom what fields would be impacted. So only for these six fields will we, will we be changing the public attribute to true. Anything outside of this override will, will not be altered. And you can configure multiple overrides also in case you want to configure different fields um, appropriately.